did not know what, upon finding out about his shocking death, it always felt as though he left constantly whenever he had long hours to talk with him. We would always refute him with words like, God forbid, or that stop saying that. It seems he knew what was coming and wanted to make sure we followed through without bidding us goodbye. Life was not perfect and never has been, but he was the person we could always turn to for good advice, especially in terms of career choices and education. There were constant funny experiences where we would just bicker and he would completely surrender. He always wanted what was best for us, hence the bickering. Some time has passed since he died and we have all reflected on how true and inspirited our father was. He had his ups and downs, but he was always excited for what will come next and always encouraged us to have faith in God. Our father would always run to God whenever he had any. He had always expressed how he wanted to share his knowledge with the youth of today. Even people who did not know him have good things to say about him. And people who knew him always talked about how kind he was and always loved helping. They'd say, Uncle Blanson was a very hardworking man and loved helping others. These kinds of these kind of words make us all feel proud of him. He always wanted to give more to the society. He was a very affectionate father. He, he has and will always remain our guide throughout this life that has been given to us. He never failed to remind us to be righteous in this life and, nev and to never give in to the pressures of this world. We feel blessed to, and honored to have had him as our father and we will never forget him. Thanks, thank you for the good discipline, coaching and love you gave him, as well as believing and understanding him in all situations. To examine insights about the past, all the time you had confided in her, and you have been there at every major step in her life. She bids goodbye with your famous saying, it is well. Vianne expresses sadness that the last time she saw you, she was at the airport, not having to force him to finish his plate of food or constantly disturbed, but all her pressure would be moved onto Uncle Abel. Richard says he is not sad, but glad it has all ended. Now you are free. His only regret is that he wished he had more time to spend with you and learn more from your emulate ways. We need to you goodbye with words from Revelation 4.13, always cherishing the moments shared with you, asking for a massage whenever you were home, not forgetting the little pep talks you had with her. And now being the last baby feels so empty without you because she is missing all the good times she spent with you which she's going to keep and hold dear in her heart. Words will not be able to heal the pain and sorrow of losing a, a loved one and time will not make us forget him. May God strengthen us to overcome this pain of this great loss. May the memories that we have, may the memories that we have with us of him be forever embedded with us. God knows this, and we have the consolation that God has ended his suffering and given him a place in heaven where he will rest. Amen. In memory of our dad, there is no there is no one else on earth so special as you were to us. We hold you forever, our precious dad, in our hearts and memory. You made us love every single day. We are the best. And even though you are not here, the time we had was blessed. We wish we had just one more chance to see that tender smile. To laugh with you, our dad, just for a little while. So this is not a goodbye, and this is not a good night. Because you are still here by our side, holding on to us so tight. Thank you.